Hey, flight simmers. If you see this nav data out of date warning in your FMC, it's time for a monthly ARAC update. Keeping your data current is crucial to ensure your flight planes, routes, and approaches are accurate and in sync with real world aviation standards. This video will walk you through the latest way to update directly in the cockpit using your universal flight tablet or UFT. To update the ARAC data, you'll need an active Navigraph subscription. This gives you access to the latest charts and navigation data so you can fly with the most up-to-date information. Previously, we used the Navigraph hub to update PMDG aircraft data, but with the latest changes, the process now happens entirely in the cockpit, simplifying things for us. So let's go through it step by step. And you don't want to update it here anymore because it won't update. With the aircraft powered up, open up the UFT and head over to electronic flight bag. Here you are going to want to go to preferences. This is your general preferences. If you scroll down, you'll then see Navigraph authentication. You can sign in. If you're already signed in, you can skip this step. This is going to give you a QR code or a code in order to authenticate with Navigraph. Once you're successfully authenticated with Navigraph, click on OK. Then you can come over here. This is the Navigraph data update. And then you can see up here your current installed air rack cycle, your validity period, and then your latest available air rack cycle. So you can see here that there is a new air rack cycle. Click on update nav data. So now that it's complete, we can confirm it up here. We've got our new air rack cycle and we're on the latest one in the validity period. In this case is until November 27th. And we can also verify in the FMC. Let's go back over here. And as you can see here, active October 31st to November 28th and the air rack nav data, it's uh, 2411. So we're on the current one. And you're going to have to do this every month. And this applies to all PMDG products, the 737 and the 777, because normally the Navigraph hub will not allow you to update things if the simulator is on. Now you're in the simulator and you can update automatically like that. Very easy. Two clicks. And that's it. If this guide helped you out, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more MSFS tutorials. And drop me a comment if you'd like to see more UFT tips. I know, I sound like UFC. <laughs> uh, this is a flying channel, not a fighting channel. But as always, happy flying.